tiny little winery, lovely, full of harmony. Hello and welcome back to Bine Wine in Stellenbosch. In this video, we would like to tell you about the past vintage 2021. We need to start with this story in March 2020, just after harvest, when the first corona cases were reported in South Africa. As a result, our government implemented a very strict lockdown, which included the total ban of all alcohol-related activities, and even the trade with wine. After an outcry from the wine industry, we could at least continue with our work, although without the help of an employee. Fortunately, the restrictions were further relaxed on 1st of June, and we were allowed to sell our wines again. It was finally a typical Cape winter again, in other words, bright sunny days alternating with chilly rains. At times, there was even snow on the Stellenbosch mountains. So all the dams in the Western Cape could finally fill up again. The Cape Winter is also famous for its beautiful flowers of all shapes and colors. But this idol was roughly interrupted again, when another lockdown, with a ban on alcohol, was introduced on June 12. So of course there wasn't much going on with wine tastings unless you enjoyed it with yourself. Fortunately, this regulation was relaxed after six weeks, and we were allowed to sell wine again. Winter is also the time to prune the vines. This happens in several steps. First the long canes are cut, and pulled out from the wire frame, and everything is pruned to a handy brush cut. In a second round, the future bearers are selected, and all other shoots removed. Lastly, just before budding, these are then cut back to only two eyes, all on the same day, so that they all bud evenly together. In the meantime spring has arrived. It's beautiful green and blooming everywhere and nature indulges in the abundance. The wild partridges have fun in the garden, while the Dickop family feels at home between the vines. There is now a lot to do in the vineyard, not just for the chickens. All the unwanted growth has to be removed, a job called suckering. This requires knowledge and precision, and last but not least, a lot of patience, since we have 8,000 vines to do. So far, we had ideal weather. This is important when the vines are flowering, because the tiny little flowers are very sensitive to wind and rain. In December it eventually got warmer. The canopy was growing quickly and needed constant attention. All the shoots had to be tucked in and leaves had to be removed in the bunch zone in order to optimize sun exposure of the young fruit. In addition, fruit set was luxuriant and we had to remove quite a bit of excess bunches in order to promote the quality of the remaining fruit. A sad job, but it had to be done. It was a busy time but by Christmas, all the work was completed and the vineyard in perfect condition. Unfortunately, Corona brought us a lockdown again on New Year's Eve. Well, this too went by after five weeks' time. In the meantime, it has become midsummer, and everyone takes it a little more relaxed. Still, Someone had to keep an eye on the vineyard. The persistent drought eventually began to stress the vines, and we supported them with targeted irrigation. The actual ripening phase started in the first half of January, with the onset of color change, called veraison. Of course, this process needed to be monitored by regular sampling, as you can see. Our harvest finally started on the 15th of February with the grapes for our rosé, while the main crop for the red wines was harvested at the beginning of March. The grapes were super healthy and hardly anything had to be sorted out. But it was also ideal harvest weather, so we were able to pick everything in a single day. 
That was a good thing, because due to the COVID regulations, the procedure was a little more complicated than usual. But good also, because two days later, we had a torrential rain. I don't want to imagine how that would have watered down our crop. After harvest, of course, comes the cellar work. There is always a lot to do. This year, we even experimented with new things, but we won't tell you now. Let's see. Finally, as the last act of our 2021 harvest, the new Pink Mellow was bottled and released, as the first deliveries are already expected. It turned out really well, a lovely little rosé with its bright pink color and the delicate fruit flavors. It is already drinking well now and it is the perfect ambassador for this great vintage 2021. Full of harmony. Cheerio. Chicken, cats and dogs and donkeys all around.